There's one more stop that I really wanted to make, Partridge Island. I'd heard about the island before from a past Trekkit episode, and a recent article in Vice Magazine alerted me to the island's supposed haunted status. My girlfriend Shauna and I drove down to St. John where the island is located. So we're here in St. John. We're gonna visit Partridge Island, which is right behind me. The tide is low, so we can cross the breakwater. It's supposed to be haunted. There's apparently bodies buried there. It's a really old historical site. There used to be a museum there and a lighthouse. So there's lots of abandoned buildings now, and we're gonna go check it out. So right now the tide is at its lowest today, which means that we can cross the breakwater. But this is the Bay of Fundy, which has some of the highest tides in the world. And there's a chance that if we're on the island and we're not keeping track of time, the tide will get so high that we get stuck on the island. And sometimes that happens to people. They have to call the Coast Guard to get rescued or they have to wait until 1 a.m., 12 hours from now, for the tide to be low again. So I've set an alarm on my phone for 3 p.m. so that we can still cross while there's time to be able to cross safely. So it took us about 35 minutes to get across that breakwater, which is a bit longer than what I expected. And now we've got this rope here to climb up onto the island. So let's do it. So we're now on Partridge Island. There's a functional lighthouse behind me. We're standing on a helicopter landing pad for the Coast Guard, and we're gonna go scope out some of the haunted areas of the island. Partridge Island, historically an important maritime immigration and harbor defense site, Partridge Island served as a quarantine station from 1785 to 1941. It is also the site of the first steam fog alarm in the world. It was cool to be the only ones walking on this piece of history. Like at the radar base, the graffiti gave a sense of being watched. We could feel the Canadian history beneath our feet as we walked through overgrown brush covering old paths surrounding the abandoned outposts. It's really creepy in here. Yeah, this place is sketchy. This is an old furnace.
sketchy graffiti over here too. John the Baptist Parish, Reverend Joseph J. McDermott. This monument was erected in memory of more than 2,000 Irish immigrants who died of typhus fever contracted on shipboard during the voyage from Ireland in the famine year 1847 and of whom 600 were buried in this island. This cross also commemorates the devotion and sacrifice of Dr. Patrick Collins who, after ministering to the victims of the disease, himself contracted it and died, 1847 to 1927. That actually freaked me out. <laughs> see any ghosts but we did see some really cool old abandoned buildings we got to check out some sweet tunnels and find some of New Brunswick's history that not a lot of people know about after all this I'm still not really a believer in ghosts but that's not to say that I'm not jumpy or get spooked if I'm in a dark tunnel and there's a weird noise so I guess I haven't ruled it out 100% one thing's for sure the Maritimes are host to a lot of cool old places with a lot of history I just hit the tip of the iceberg, and my hunger to see more means that I'll have to keep exploring.
Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's show and that we didn't scare you too much. Have a happy Halloween and see you next time.